SheetGo is a no-code platform that allows Excel users to create real business solutions while saving time and resources. Users can simply sync data between R files, consolidate multiple spreadsheets into one, distribute data to other files, collaborate with teams, automate those tasks, and much more, all without leaving Excel. Today, we have Yannick, CEO at SheetGo. For 25 years, Yannick has focused on online software, spreadsheets, and automation. Outside of Silicon Valley, he has built businesses including co-working spaces in Europe and thousands of eco-friendly, low-income homes in Latem. His passion lies in the confluence of technology and real-world applications. Great. Well, thank you very much. Um, hi from, I'm in Madrid, Spain, sitting here and uh, at home. And I uh, hope that I am going to be able to present to you something that is useful, uh, at least interesting. And I look forward for any comments. Uh, first of all, um, what here at CheatGo, uh, we are passionate about making work simple. And we uh, want to allow people that use spreadsheets um, to be able to create smart systems. We're a Microsoft uh, partner. And like everybody else, uh, probably that's sitting here. Uh, know that spreadsheets are here to stay and that they are the most popular productivity software in the world. Uh, there are more programmers that can code in spreadsheets than uh, by far than programmers that can program in any other language. And we all know that um, a large percentage of office workers use spreadsheets every day. Um, and finally, and probably the most important part is that we probably all know here that a, an important number of decisions are still made or ERPs. Um, given the widespread, uh, the, the widespread use of spreadsheets, uh, we, I think all know here that they are very dangerous. It's very different, difficult to synchronize the data. Um, nowadays, version control is made better by having spreadsheets online, but it's still a huge uh, issue. The governance of data and the difficulty of accessing of access controls, which is now getting better thanks to online spreadsheets, um, is difficult to govern. And finally, if you want information in different parts, um, it is either you copy paste or you link it some way that usually provides errors and um, doesn't allow for, again, proper governance. So it is said, and this article is probably widely read out of Forbes, that Excel um, might be the most dangerous software on the planet for all those reasons. Um, so what, what do we do here um, at SheetGo? Um, we, what we did is we took into consideration, um, all of these, uh, things, um, all these risks and said, how do we solve this? Um, so we, we wanted to solve this by not replacing spreadsheets, but rather how do we empower them? And so what we allow folks to do is to create, uh, workflows, uh, visually in spreadsheets so that their end users um, that maybe use in Excel, even Google Sheets or CSV files um, can have uh, synchronized information. And that the information at the end of the day has a single source of truth. Therefore, at the end of the day, you can trace the information all the way to where it, it is supposed to be. Um, so we think that this in many occasions is a better solution than having to implement an entire new SaaS solution with its own interface, its own UI that may or may not provide a solution for all the stakeholders in a process department or company. So we believe that this provides that step up that spreadsheets uh, and Excel um, re users really require. So, <clears throat> um, we are 
we're going to be looking in a bit at a demo of uh, our add-in, um, which provides uh, you some uh, snippet of how to use it directly from the context of Excel, the context of Excel. Uh, but I wanted to just show that we do have a standalone web application uh, that allows users, Excel users, to do even more that can be done in the small window of uh, that is provided by the add-in. From here, you can build workflows, you can um, organize, you can see the network's views, and you can collaborate. And we can even we've been able to embed the spreadsheet within our product as well. So I do invite um, after this to look also at our web app uh, online. Um, the add-in of Excel, which is what we're going to look at right now, <clears throat> is um, uh, going to show you just the, the, the simple way of consolidating data into one, uh, providing a source data, and then connecting it um, directly from, from Excel. So if uh, we can play the video now, uh, I think it will be helpful to demonstrate, uh, and Chad is going to demonstrate for us uh, succinctly um, how we do this. Sheetco enables you to automate your work by creating workflows based on your spreadsheets. With Sheetco, you can save time and eliminate tedious data manipulation by simply connecting your spreadsheets and transferring data between them in a workflow. The best part is you can do this all without needing the help from your IT department. And so Sheetco is available as a web app at app.sheetco.com, but what we're debuting in this video is our new Excel add-in. And to do so, we set up a, a pretty common use case that we see from a lot of finance departments. We know you finance guys out there, you really love your ERPs to track your actual expenses, but you always do your budgeting and forecasting in your spreadsheets. And so at this, in this example, you can imagine I'm a finance manager, I'm doing my budget for my company, and I need the inputs from the various departments in my company in order to create this forecast. And you can, so you can see on the dashboard that we set up here, uh, I have four departments. This orange bar represents what I've allocated to them, and you can see that the plan I haven't received yet, they're planning, which is why I can't com complete my, my pro forma income statement here. And so what am I gonna do? I'm gonna use our consolidate feature to bring in data from those four source spreadsheets and put it in this spreadsheet, actually in this tab, sheet go budget, which you can see is blank now. I'm gonna bring the data from the sources, the four sources, bring, put it here, and it'll automatically populate my dashboard based on you know the graphs that I've already set up. And so in order to do so with the Sheetco sidebar open, I say start connecting. Here I can say if I want to bring in from one file or more, multiple files, in this case I'm bringing from multiple files on my SharePoint. And it's a good point to, to mention we are we can we can bring data from spreadsheets stored on on SharePoint, on OneDrive, on Dropbox, and on Google Drive. So I'm gonna select the, the SharePoint site where I set this up, intro to Sheetco, and then I'm gonna find the folder where these four spreadsheets resides. This is the department budgets, and then I'm gonna select the four spreadsheets individual, one for each of my departments, and select done. And so at this point, I should also notice it could be an Excel file, a, uh, a TSV, a Google Sheet, or even a, or a CSV file. And so what it's done is it's found those four files, it's loaded the tabs. I'm gonna bring in data from the monthly budget tab of each of these four files. I'm gonna select done here. And then on my destination, which is the sheet that I'm working in now, the only thing I'm gonna change here is I'm gonna change the name of the tab to the one I've already set up, uh, monthly budget. So if I, if I hadn't changed the name there, it would create actually a new tab in this sheet, but in order for the dashboard and formulas to work, we, we preset this tab for you guys. So select done editing finish and save and at this point it's creating the, the connection and it's going to take a few seconds to bring the data in. Okay as you can see the, the data is here now the graphs have refreshed and all I got to do is click to save this workflow and if I wanted to at this point I can I can schedule my updates to run automatically but I'm just going to click finish for now and you can see it, I have my workflow here in my add-in, which I can also access via our web app. And so just to sum up, that was an example of where we had distributed databases, in this case it's budgets, and we brought it to a single place in this file. 
And you can imagine there's similar use cases um, with sales when you want to bring sales leads to a single place, maybe in project management when you have various entities with different inputs, or even like in OKRs, uh, an HR case, use case where you're tracking data. And then we also do the opposite. Um, instead of consolidating data, we can distribute data as well. So you can imagine use cases, I'll get in project management. Well, I, I want to distribute tasks from a central database to multiple spreadsheets so all of my colleagues have access to their tasks. That's a great example of how we'd, we do the opposite, which is distribute data. And you know, the most simple is we can just go one-to-one. -one. Anywhere we want to share data between A and B, essentially creating a mirror in the destination of what's in the source, that's where you do a, a simple one-to-one -one connection. So that's it for now. Uh, you can find our, our add-in in the uh, Microsoft uh, store where you find all your add-ins. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, thanks, Chad. Uh, I know he's probably out there in the chatting himself, uh, but um, I hope that helps to understand what and how you can use our add-in. And I think what Chad was talking a little bit about here was consolidate, but that is one of many, many features. We have over 52 different features. A few of the, of the popular features here are being able to filter data with a condition or even SQL query. Um, in fact, one of the first case studies I'm gonna talk about is from Joseph who learned SQL thanks to our querying system. Um, then uh, the other one that's very common is folks that want to distribute to the field uh, data. Uh, that has become a very common use case for us. And um, we are about to do a huge release. We're an early access program now where you're going to be able to actually generate uh, documents, PDF them, and email them as well. We found that to be po very powerful for the generation of invoices, for generating uh, uh, reports, whether they're daily, weekly, or monthly. Um, we've even figured out, <laughs> we had a hackathon internally and someone in the team figured out how to do it quarterly as well. So we have a number of features that um, I encourage you to look at uh, in our product. So our, co our compatibility um, is not only in Excel um, and CSV within SharePoint and OneDrive, but if you need and you have information residing from within your organization or outside of your organization, you know, also in Dropbox or in Google Drive, um, you can actually have information interconnected across uh, multiple um, uh, drives. And, I, and I, we find that to be very, very powerful. The most exciting part for me I have found actually is to truly understand what our customers do in a daily basis. Um, and I am going to give you three examples of a few dozen uh, folks I've spoken to because we in software, we look at this spreadsheets. And in fact, in my life, I've, as you may have heard in the introduction, I've done more than just software. I've actually built homes. And what touches me is what do we do for people? What do they actually do with this scalable software that all of us here um, are selling in this conference uh, elsewhere? And this is an example of a guy called Joseph. He sits out in Wichita and he came in to help a, a trucking company that's been around for a long time in the, its expansion. And, and his job, is to supervise the stock of over $27 million worth of stock. And he couldn't find a way to do this. He found CheatGo and needless to say, I mean, he was able to, it, here it's simplified how he's able to use CheatGo to create an inventory management system. Um, it says here that there's 10 collaborators, but in, in fact, there are 120 people that depend on these spreadsheets, thanks to CheatGo that gets updated. and he would say, and he said to me, that this actually affects over 600 people in their daily jobs. This, I mean, this kind of story to me is, is why I do this. Um, the return on investment that Joseph and I figured out was for them is 34 times their annual <laughs> license payment. So we figured that we're a little bit too cheap perhaps, uh, but it is really wonderful to see real case studies. Inventory management is one. Um, the other guy that I, I really like uh, talking to <clears throat> Corbin 
Um, he works in out of a, a school district and um, he actually created an entire integrated, he calls integrated assess, uh, student assessment solution for the district that he's at. Basically, he wanted to be able to put together student information and be able to distribute it to teachers and even give access to, um, to, to, to the students uh, so that they, and, and the, uh, the students' parents, so they would see uh, proactively um, how well their, the, the students were doing. Um, this also has been a huge return for him, 14 times uh, what he's invested yearly on a cheat go. Um, and in this case, he does have five collaborators that are working with him. And this is a, one of the solutions that many school districts are starting to put together with, uh, with SheetGo, given the information comes from all over the place. Um, and this is a very passionate person that I really like to speak to and our, our team likes to speak to, Corbin. Uh, the next one is, um, this is a, a, a startup out of Australia. Um, he's actually Colombian, Andres. And um, he really, um, he needed, he had a lot of information coming from um, his, uh, from daily work that he needs to put together from clients and he needs to put together for his um, uh, clients a report uh, daily. And basically what this does, what Sheetco does is provide and put all the information together in one place for him uh, and has, can do reports from it. His returns were also very big, but what's really interesting and it's not really quantifiable is that he told me is look Yannick, I, I could provide reports and service a few clients before now i have much more time to get more clients and to service more clients and that is in the new role, uh, kind of value these are three uh, examples this is sales lead track and the other one school attendance the other one's inventory management and the one that chad talked about was regarding finance so there's a myriad of use cases and i could um, i love to talk about them and if anyone ever wants to chat about those, uh, we, we will, and we're making those more and more available in our platform after the new release, um, because we have many, many of those. Um, we have uh, over 2.5 million installed users, um, of which uh, 500 are large companies, some of them you see here, and we have many more small, medium uh, companies as well that use us. Um, <clears throat> and I'd say that uh one of the big big priorities for us uh, and we, we put this lightly but it's true uh from day one for us secure was the design we don't actually keep any of the information in these spreadsheets we actually do peer-to-peer -peer encrypted uh um, sending of information uh we are gdpr compliant of course we're in europe so we had to be for many years now uh we use certified data centers uh and we are actually running regular vulnerability security tests. We are actually going through a very big certification because we're getting more and more large companies uh, using us. And I'd say that last but not least, uh, we are starting to see our dream come true, which is in some cases, folks may be using it for different departments, but in some cases we're seeing, especially smaller companies using it to actually manage uh, every aspect of their business sort of have like an, an an ERP that's um that's kind of the ultimate objective for us so people potentially can manage everything with spreadsheets with their excel uh, use technology they already know and and get a, a, around from you know getting to focus on the things they're supposed to be focusing on rather than having to have 20 25 different SaaS products uh, to service their everyday needs. Um, and that's it. That's what I have. And anything else is really up to you guys to ask. I'm quite open uh, to, to answer any questions. Let me look at these. Um, all right. What is the maximum number of spreadsheets you can load before you start facing performance issues? I'm not sure if that was for us, uh, but if it was for us, uh, yes, it sounds like it was for us. Um, well, we have seen, Curtis, uh, just some crazy stuff out there. We've seen folks that um, can put together hundreds of spreadsheets. It really doesn't depend on the number of spreadsheets. It, 
really depends on how many uh, how much information is in each of those spreadsheets in terms of amount of data, but also the number of formulas that are running. So basically, the uh, sheet go kind of waits till all the formulas are done running before sending over the information. And if there's too much formulas, too much data, and too many spreadsheets, uh, the, the system can get bogged down. We do give some warnings when we see that the workflow may give some issues, uh, but it's, uh, I don't want to say it's limitless, but it's very powerful. Um, Nicolas, we have 2.5 million active users. Well, I wish they were all active. Um, no, it's installed users. We have 2.5 million installed users between users that use us at Microsoft and those that use us at Google. Um, how big is our team? Uh, we are 20 people uh, sitting between Germany, Spain, and Brazil, uh, and US. Um, and how do you make sure we're serving them right? Uh, I mean, I think if you look us up online, we're very, very uh, open. We speak to our customers um, a lot. And so a big priority of our, of our team is to get in front of the customer and really understand. So we do service quite well, I think. Our response time, the most recent response time I've seen, uh, we have for the last month, we got down to two minutes uh, on average. So I think that's pretty good, given the amount of uh, customers we're serving. Uh, Nicolas, uh, how is this different from Parabola? Oh, good. <laughs> Nicolas, thanks for asking that question. Uh, I actually do know the investors at Parabola. We have spoken. We kind of love each other. We haven't taken the next step. Uh, but Parabola has very much uh, been focused on sales and, and work and in, in integration with, um, I think it was Shopify. Uh, so they, they have a very vertical use case that they, they look at. Um, so, so I think... Um, we actually have pending a few conversations with them because we really like what they do as well, uh, but it is, they're very centric into a use case. Thank you, Tia, for the interface um, comment and Nicolas also. Um, Anthony, does it work with Power Query? I, knew, I was waiting for that question. Um, no, we don't work directly with Power Query. Uh, some folks kind of see it kind of as Power Query. We are really more of kind of that switchboard so you can see what, how data goes and moves. Uh, some people do prefer to use us or uh, some other folks like to use Power Query. I think you can use both. We have customers that use both. Uh, for the use, uh, Alex Sanchez, for the use in the projects area, how does Sheetco compare to specialized software in terms of performance and most important in terms of cost? Great question. So we have a lot of customers that use us for project management. Um, it, we, one of the things we do toy around a lot, and perhaps I'm too transparent on this, is some folks that use it for projects literally use us for three months and then they won't, they'll take our monthly um, product and then they'll stop using us and then they'll use us for another five months later down the road. Our team start, try, start, is still trying to figure out how do we characterize those as subscription versus not. But we do have a lot of projects customers. Um, we are not specialized in projects, but uh, I think we provide some of the features that people need. Um, how are we different? I think it, we're more versatile. We really enable the use of all Excel features or Dropbox or Google features. And I think that if you want versatility, uh, we're, we're that we're that guy. Um, and in terms of cost, because you can use this for many projects and many other things, I think that we're usually, as I said before, um, our return on investment is normally 19 times, so 1,900 on average percentage. So you tend to be, I think, a bit too cheap. That may change soon. <laughs> um, Let's see. Sasen, Sasen, I don't know if I said your word, your um, your um, name correctly. Um, do we offer an OEM version or white label version? We do not use uh, um, um, 
have one. We have been talking about opening up our API. So please, you know, let's talk about this um, because we are looking for use cases. I think uh, the previous person also said the same thing. Our biggest use case, Nicolas, a lot of financial type purchase uh, orders, financial reporting, also inventory management, uh, project management. So we do see a lot of budgeting, Nicolas. We do see budgeting as a huge one. Imagine how many people have actual numbers that come from a SaaS or a product or even Excel versus the budget and how do you put it together and perhaps you, you're the one that is seeing it all together but you want no one else to see it. So Sheetco is a perfect solution for that. In fact, the, how I came up, uh, the original, original version of Sheetco was when I was running a company where I was building 3,000 homes uh, over Latin America and I couldn't figure out how to actually keep track of actual track actual versus budget. And uh, actually the first idea of Sheetco came from that many years ago. Um, Sasanka, do we offer support and implementation services? Yes. We do definitely support implementation services. We do have uh, uh, integrators um, that that can help. We have one that we're working closer than ever now uh, that really knows our uh, product very well and our customers and has been working really well. So yes, we do both. We have done our projects ourselves to understand clients. Nicolas, did we raise money? We have raised uh, some money. Um, we raised, we, we won a whole bunch of awards, some of them here, a few years back in 2018, and we did get a few, a number of offers, um, and we did raise a little bit of money. Uh, we haven't raised as much as probably some of our competitors. We actually are a profitable company. Um, so we are now looking into, we're actually doing a restructuring right now. So if you look at LinkedIn or you're interested, we are going to be floating 20% of the company uh, in the secondary market. If you're interested, uh, look out for LinkedIn or just send me a message. Our investors, uh, we have some venture capital from Southern Europe. Um, we also have an incredible advisory board that is also coming into the company uh, as investors, includes the CTO of Dropbox. We've got CEO of an amazing, of Pickett, who is an amazing partner of Microsoft. Uh, we've got a managing director of Axel KKR. We, we're starting to really bring in some folks that are much smarter than I am and, um, and that really can complement my very smart team. Who are you talking to for? Uh, and Nicolas, I don't understand your, your message about who are you talking to for the budgeting workflow but happy to talk about that if you're an expert. Um, <laughs> Nicolas, uh, yeah, VC uh, analysts love uh, using SheetGo. We've heard a lot of use cases around that, uh, in putting together data from different startups. Uh, Senka, what is the definition of an update? Oh my goodness, that is such a huge question. <laughs> so an update for us is the sync the uh, updating of information. Um, we really depend on those updates uh, in terms of server power. So <clears throat> we used to kind of give that uh, limitless, but it's actually kind of expensive to synchronize data. So we price our software uh, or our solution based on how many updates people are doing. If you're doing a thousand updates per day, it's gonna be expensive. If you're doing a thousand updates per month, then it's going to be much less expensive. But we do have people that require information updated every, we have people every 15 minutes, uh, all the way up to monthly. So, um, asking, uh, okay. So, so Senka, you're asking about our pricing. That's what it is. Updates. We need to do a better job. We should have a little help there. So I'll take a note, uh, of that. And yes, Nicolas, who is our target customer in finance teams? Uh, so depends if, uh, so procurement managers, so if they're doing purchasing orders or reconciliation, um, in terms of finance, we have seen in smaller companies, the controllers in larger companies like, um, Erlikid, for example, in France, uh, it will be the area finance manager. Um, we have seen some VP of finances in medium-sized companies. Um, so it really depends on what role they're, they're If they have an analyst enough role, they are our client. If they are just a viewer, they're probably not our client. 
Good questions, by the way, Nicholas. We need to talk. Um, any other questions? Let's see. I don't know if we're how we're doing with time. Um, I think uh, that's it. I don't think there's any other questions. But uh, if you have any other questions, Yannick at sheetgo.com. It's here. Um, and uh, we're quite open to, to discuss uh, any other any other things? Hope hope you guys enjoyed. Looking to see if there's any other questions. Nope. Um, looking here. No. Well, Nicholas and uh, Sasenka, thank you for keeping the dream alive and uh, and discussing. I wish to hear someone else's voice than mine. <laughs> cool. Thank you, Sasenka. And yes, uh, Fernando, thank you for that. Fernando is uh, part of our sales team and talk to him. He's awesome. He's from Brazil. He's an ultra marathon runner, lives out of in Floripa. Great place to visit if you haven't for some good surfing. I don't know why I'm in Madrid right now. If I could be with you, Fernando. Thanks, Elena. 